Okay, so the final class we're going to talk about is class Cubozoa. Uh, and this organism, it's pretty easy to remember. So when you look at the actual class name, Cubo breaks down to box, and Zoa breaks down to jellyfish. These are extremely interesting animals, but there's actually very few of them. So there's only about 20 species so far that we've discovered that are in this group. Again, they're pretty easy to remember because their overall shape really is like a cube or a box. And then characteristically, they have tentacles at the corners. So they either have four or they're in groups of four. With the way their muscle is developed, they can actually swim very well. On that video that you watch for your jellyfish research project, you should have noticed that they can swim at the rate of an Olympic swimmer. And so they really, truly can swim at a pretty good rate. Um, some of them have very well-developed eyes. Um, and it's not just limited to sensing light and dark, but they can actually make out an image. So these are pretty advanced little animals. And then finally, the body form is a Medusa shape. So uh, it's not a polyp stage in any way. Um, it's just that it's a little different from the jellyfish because it is a box. Uh, it isn't written up here, but you do want to write down that this group tends to be pretty venomous. So um, some of its members uh, are counted in among some of the world's deadliest or most venomous animals. So uh, the Irukandji, uh, which really it's the Irukandji syndrome, but the organism that's responsible for that is very small. But the venom can produce pain and just an overall body reaction that can cause death in some organisms. So when you're done with this, I want you to make sure you click the next link. So I do have a vi another video for you to watch about uh, cubozoans and the box jellyfish on YouTube. Also, when you're done with this, please make sure that you write down any questions on the zoology forum that you have. Uh, that is a requirement. And then I also, let me just actually get it out of this, so I'll go just to remind you. Um, when you are writing down this, remember, this is what you need to do when you're done. And this needs to go on the website so I can make sure that you watch the video and that you understand everything we talked about. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the screencast today.